Raven Monique and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm coming to you guys. It's not really um, a big blog of anything vlog of anything that I'm going to be doing. I'm literally just going to be talking to you guys for a little bit. I may um, put into my blog, um, I'm going to go out tonight. So I'll probably put the process of me getting ready with that with my friend. And when we get there, vlog a little bit of that vlog when I get home so I might do that I do not know but I just feel like this video I more so just wanted to come to you guys um, talk a little bit about Lux Nuit my business um, talk about me talk about what's been going on and things like that so let's get started so as you guys know I have my own pajama line it is Lux Nuit it is a luxury pajama wear line that I started I originally started back in 2013 yes I had graduated high school and I got accepted to the Dallas Art Institute shout out to Dallas for work so I did Dallas for a little bit and then I transferred closer to Fort Worth and I went to the Fort Worth Art Institute and I took um, business and fashion there I learned a lot of good things, but after a while, as you guys know, around like 2014, 2015, the e-commerce online boutique thing really took off. So it was becoming a point where people were not having to go to school. And mind you, I started going to Dallas Art Institute because I did not get into FIDM, which is FIDM in LA. That was my original plan. I was so obsessed with the hills. Shout out Lauren Conrad. I was obsessed with Laguna Beach, the hills. Yeah, that whole life. So I was ready to go to FIDM and become a fashion designer and, you know, do New York City and the whole fashion week, all that. I was ready for all that. But I ended up going, you know, small town life, ended up going to, um, Dallas Art Institute and Fort Worth Art Institute. They were still great. It still gave me that fit and vibe that I seen on the TV. It was, I met a lot of amazing people. Um, so another thing is with that, I started Lux 13, which was lingerie. I used to be so obsessed with lingerie and pajamas. And the reason why is because I remember one day, my mom is gonna kill me. <laughs> but one day, sorry mama, one day I went into my mom's room. My mom, mind you, my mom, when I grew up, my mom is 47. I am 26. So my mom is still young and fabulous. So when I was growing up in high school, my mom always had the best heels. She was obsessed with Jessica Simpson heels. She had the best heels, always was super stylish. She still is super stylish, loved going out. Her and my dad loved going on dates, having fun, dressing up, hitting the clubs and things like that. And so I remember I always wanted to wear her heels to high school, wear her clothes, things like that. So she had this long, like tall jewelry box that had mini drawers. So mind you, you know, I'm going in her room, sneaking jewelry, sneaking clothes for my school outfit. And I find a drawer full of this pink, glittery dress, bras, panties. I mean, the whole nine. And I just like looked at it, you know, like, what is this stuff? Like, what is this? Researched it, you know, on, you know, the computer was in the living room so i had to act like i'm sneaking on my space but i'm looking up glittery things i was introduced to victoria's secrets fredericks of hollywood okay i was introduced to all this new life of like lingerie and like sexy pajamas and in my head being the girl that loves fashion i thought you can create a look to go to sleep like, you can literally create a look to go to sleep if you wanted to. Wow, like, my husband's going to love that, you know, because I was all obsessed about the marriage thing. So, that was really the reason I got into pajamas and lingerie because my mom always had good pajamas. My grandmother, which we call her Aunt Mama, my grandmother, if you know her, if you know, if you've just been around her, you know she's going to wear different pajamas every day to go to bed. So it's kind of like I've always been brought up in that fabulous lifestyle. They kind of sort of hate me for it because I took it over the top. Like everything is a fashion show to me. My mom used to always get on me about that. 
but yeah so that's how my love of lingerie and pajamas started so after a while i took a break i took like a three to six I, not even i think i took a five-year break it's been 10 years now i took a five-year break and i went to temple college i went college there i ordered dozens of products i ordered like 200 dollars 200 dollars worth of product of lingerie and it was in two styles and i literally carried that with me my whole 20 well not even 27 because i'm still 26 but i carried that with me my whole prime to 25 and i literally gave that to friends i threw pr products away i threw like literally half of my merchandise and inventory away so i gave up on it i had my daughter i got into boys i got into friendships i got into a lot of stuff and it wasn't about me anymore and so after a while i took a break you know now we're here fast forward 20 mind you this was 2013 so fast forward 2020 i am now launching well it's launched it's lux nui it's here i have my inventory it's selling and it's kind of come full circle because i never really thought i'd get there mind you my daughter's now three three years ago i was pregnant alone and was catching bus stops like catching buses every day to get to freaking school to get to teach kids to so i couldn't even think about running a business i never thought that would be yeah I, i'm like get a car first let's give me an apartment first let's start there so i never imagined i'd be here i honestly can say that my daughter was my biggest motivation i just i didn't want to work just one job i wanted to be able to create something that she could be able to have that i could give to her like hey daughter go run the store today or go do this or you know check the website let's go and make it. you know i wanted to be able to build an empire and i feel like uh being an influencer now these days being a fashion designer being things like that like a, having a big company in store look at the crayon case with supercent look how beneficial this is a passion and how it turns into lucrative money so i definitely hopped on that train that train um corona was definitely a motivation knowing all these jobs that you work so hard for were not going to pay you or were not trying to pay you or not caring i really realized like dang you gonna really have to get your own business to be able to support yourself and so that's what i did so it uh, it's a lot of stuff i usually don't like telling the story but i mean that is true my daughter really was my saving grace that's why her name is Eastland grace she really was my saving grace for everything for myself mentally spiritually emotionally everything you know it, it stemmed from her so i have to say that because i know it's moms out there that you know we feel like how can we do this and i know it's definitely single moms out there as well that when the partner leaves or decides not to be in that child's life you literally are lost and i came from a, a two-parent household i tell everybody this like i came from a two-parent household i mean i see my family deal with single parent and things like that but i just never saw myself you know being able to do that so to be here now and freaking thriving at it i am a full advocate for us single moms getting on our stuff and becoming extra fabulous because i really truly feel like we are super women like to do it by yourself it's a job like yeah so i really couldn't even imagine having a second parent now because it's like damn i've been really out here doing it by myself and it's hard but i get it done and that's like such a oh it's such a good feeling it's such a reward like i remember my daughter's last christmas i literally cried in tears of happiness and joy to see our christmas tree up see the presents like to know i did that by myself like yes ma'am so yeah i say that to say this to all my moms out there whether you have a partner whether you're a single mom do your dreams like you can do them it, it can be done I feel like we should not I know we get in our modes and our moods and I know with postpartum depression it can be extremely hard trust me I know it, it sucks and it's hard to get out of bed and it's hard to face our days but I'm here to tell you like I'm literally here to tell you you can do it when I tell you I caught two buses all the way from nine months pregnant I bought my own daughter's bassinet from Walmart took it on the bus walked home to set it up and everything that same day like honestly it's it's a lot of stuff but 
I really feel like I can I can speak and give you this testimony because to be where I am now, I still, just yesterday I was looking at my site about to cry because I still cannot believe I got through this. And I thank, I thank myself every day that I got, I dug myself out of that pain, out of that misery because I knew I did not deserve that. And you don't either. You deserve to be happy and you deserve to be the best mom you can be with or without a partner, with or without your village. Create your own village. I always tell people that don't have, you know, a Mimi or a grandma or, you know, a mom that can help you and assist you with your child and things like that. Like create your own circle, create your own village because it is people out here that are willing to help you be the best you you can be. So definitely get yourself out of that rut, pray, speak positivity. I mean, give yourself affirmations. I remember it was a time I was waking up every morning looking on Pinterest and saying my positive affirmations from just Pinterest quotes to get me through the day. I know it was coffee to get me through the day, things like that. So yeah, so I feel like I'll tap into that more so on as we talk about motherhood and journey. If you guys do want to hear motherhood, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you want to know like the meals, everything about motherhood, let me know. But I just want to say that us single moms, we can do it. It's, it's not that hard. It's hard, but it's not that hard. I remember I used to be sick, crying, and two months pregnant thinking, my life is over, I'm a single mom. Yeah, baby, look at me now. Okay, look at the, yeah, like we're, it's, 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 we're okay. You're gonna be okay. So let's get back into the business. Let's tap into Lux New Eat. So, yeah, so, so with Lux New Eat, um, I launched it July 13th on my birthday of 2020. And so far, this is, um, this is the third week. So this week is, well, next week will be my, a month into this business. It's been going great. I would say it has its slow days, but it's definitely been going great from what I, you know, expect. I thought I wasn't going to sell nothing but two pieces of outfits, but we are sold out in jet lag in the coral. We still have gray left and we still have Bermuda and we still have Paradise Set. Also, Paradise Set is going to be on sale this whole August until September, which is the end of the official summer. So September, we'll be launching our new uh, fall collection so yeah so everything's been going good um, um i've been getting myself into a lot of like joining a lot of business groups with women and things like that and i've seen a lot it, i noticed a change how people were promoting their business asking help getting questions to now let's let's talk about how much money we make and let's talk about the goal i said and how i beat it and this and that and it's not like you know i get you know telling your your uh your testimony and things like that but I feel like now it's becoming more of a boasting, bragging type thing instead of more so motivational. And I read a post on um, uh, Instagram page. I'll try to link it if I can find it because she's a really good Instagram page that helps you uh, with your business and how to conduct your business and things like that. But she was saying like sometimes you know you can be discouraging to other girls and and i was one of those girls that felt discouraged when people would post they were making all this money and this and that and i'm just like girl do you really have to show us every day what you're making like at some point just keep it to yourself if if you're doing your business and you love what you do i feel like you do not have to brag about everything about your business i just i don't get that not one not only one you look like you're really not for the girls you're really just for yourself but two if i ask you how you did that or this and that can you give me info no you just want to just show what what you got and what you made which is cool but like every day you can't just like give us like okay if this is your monthly thing at the end of the month this is what you did this is how you did it no you just want to show that you did it but i can't even fault us women like that because we have become a show me state a show me uh country where everything has to be publicized every move we make has to be publicized but one thing about me and one thing i want to tell you ladies is we don't need to be those girls we we don't need to be those girls we 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 definitely celebrate our triumphs and celebrate you know us starting our business and things like that but we don't have to we don't have to do that we i mean i feel like 
if you got it, if it's in you, it's in you, you know? Like nobody has to boast so much. And I feel like I was getting discouraged seeing so many of those. So this morning I ended up getting out of some of those groups and finding different other groups that are just more so motivational versus, okay, I made a post that I made this. Somebody else makes a post, well, I made this. Somebody was like, well, I made this more. You know, it's like, yeah, I had to get out of that. So that's another thing. That's something I was trying to uh, work through. I was kind of sad this morning, but I, like I said, I got out of the funk. I realized I need to switch groups. I need to switch gears. I need to be... I need to add sites that are helping motivational wise that are are teaching more than showing or bragging um another thing is i decided to do same day shipping with my job i get off at a good decent time to be able to package orders and go drop them off so i am now doing same day shipping on orders that are per placed before 1 p.m i that has you know i didn't really think that would be good because I didn't feel like I would want to get up and go do things like that. But honestly, it feels good when they shop before 1 p.m. And I can go ahead and get those orders out the way. I, I find that to be very beneficial. And I got a lot of reviews today. Well, uh, emails and messages of people receiving their outfits today. I sent it out Thursday and they got it today, which is Saturday. So that's a really good turnaround. And that was a really good turnaround and I'm, I'm really happy and I didn't have to go to a post office I actually found another drop-off place to drop my things off and the mailman picks it up from there so that was way quick quicker than going to the post office sit in my package there and they probably don't touch the package until when it's time to close so that was a really big difference in my uh, business so definitely check that out Def if you have the time definitely think about doing um a same day shipping option but make sure you set a time limit so these people don't think every you know every time they place an order it's expected to be shipped at that day so i have that before 1 p.m but i still keep my three to five day shipping um and processing time on just for regular purchases made after 1 p.m yeah so it has not been but it has not been overwhelming i feel like the business has been what it needs to be for me and my season because I can get overwhelmed a lot and I know my mom was just telling me the other day that she's like so proud of me for getting out there sitting on camera talking y'all not overthinking you know everything and not um, being so just anxiety crazy I hate when I get anxiety I hate it hate it hate it hate it hate it because I literally am just a different person and I don't like that anxious feeling or moving fast trying to get everything done so uh, and it's nice to see that my mom sees that change. I definitely see the change. That's why I wanted to do these YouTube videos to see myself progress as well. But yeah, um, that's that's that same day shipping thing has been a blessing, and my business, the way it's moving, has been a blessing for me to be able to still control everything and and control my inventory and control uh, how fast I get it out, can make sure the quality and everything is good. I did go to a brunch. Uh, mind you, I had bad anxiety. I was not going to go. I hung out with Ja for the first time. And I hung out with her like one time when I went out to the club. Uh, she was always cool, so sweet. And so the second time I went, she invited me to her brunch. We talked through Facebook and she invited me to her brunch. I was so nervous to go because I am, I'm a people person, but I'm not a people person. But with my business going and with me doing this YouTube, I really want to branch and break through that that being anxious and scared and uh, that whole oh people are gonna be mean or blah 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 mentality so i ended up going i had a great time it was great to be around a lot of mommy friends and great to be around moms that still get cute and like to have fun and like to drink and party and i definitely can't wait to link up with them again because they all were so sweet some of the girls i knew in high school but they were also sweet and yeah i definitely do need girlfriends because I know my mom is getting sick of me and my sister she's 19 and I'm not cool to her so I yeah I really don't have a lot of friends um so I ended up going it was great I sweated like a dog because I was so nervous but after a while I got good but other than that it was a good time I'm happy I went um tonight I like I said I'm gonna go out with my homegirl and we're gonna go out to the club I'm a little nervous but it ain't really nothing here so I'm not too much nervous or whatever but I get excited about that so 
I keep telling myself I'm not gonna go, but I'm gonna go, you guys. I'm not gonna do my brand like that, but I'm gonna definitely go. So I decided to record because when I was doing editing for the other part of the video, it was kind of like a lot. So I had to cut some things out and then I ended up cutting things out and yeah it um ended up being short a little short so i said i'm just gonna film getting ready to go out i'm getting ready to go out with my homegirl sarah um we just dropped the kids off it's like 11 i think it's 11 something it's 11 something right now and so we're getting ready to just like drink and pregame because we're going to like an after hour spot so it doesn't open until late so Ooh, that light is so bright it doesn't open until late so i'm just eating and red bulling it up so that i can have energy y'all know i'm a grandma um i'm getting a little bit of anxiety of course i'm trying not to that's why i'm drinking my red bull trying to like relax um but i'm gonna go but yeah i'm just i'm just a little nervous I hate going to like big settings. Um, I be wanting to stay for like a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna stay long. I'm gonna stay, you know, a good enough time so that my homegirl just got back in town. And so, you know, we just wanna go out and celebrate and turn up or whatever. So, we're gonna do that. So, I will film again after she gets here and we finish our makeup and ready to get dressed. I feel like I just heard a car, so that might be her. I'm gonna make a snap of her coming in. And then I'll probably add it into this video. Who is it? Hey, 